The Peak Stock Car Dream Challenge is something to give the opportunity for grassroots racers to find an outlet to be seen and be heard. When this promotion first came up last year, we were wondering if it was going to be a real legitimate driver search. You tell how serious we take it. We bring in all of our stars. But we hook them up with the best in the business. I think if people show that they can listen and improve, then there's absolutely potential. You've got to run the fast time, but you've got to have good car control. You've got to show aggression, but you've also got to show patience. You've got to be able to speak well. You've got to be on camera. You've got to, there's a, there's, it's a whole package, I think, to win championships in the NASCAR series. They show up, they get on the racetrack, first two or three laps, you know if they're even going to be in the ballpark. I mean, this is a singular event where, you know, they're going to they're gonna win it or they're not. And there's going to be a lot more losers than there are winners. Michael Waltrip Racing appreciates what everybody at Peak does to put this experience on. Like, that's really cool. That's really special. I mean, like, there's not a lot of those opportunities like that in motorsports. And Clint Boyer is here. I mean, he brought out his whole dirt team, two dirt cars with two seats in them, so that he could help these kids learn how to race on the dirt. To be a good racer, you've got to be able to adapt to the conditions, whether it's dirt, whether it's asphalt, whether it's a short track, whether it's a big track. That's what makes a good racer in my mind, is being able to adapt to any situation they throw at you. The best rise to the top, and ultimately there'll be one winner that we put in a k and race and really good equipment and give them the opportunity of a lifetime to say, here's what I'm made of, uh, with no excuses, because they have everything they need in place to win. So when it's over, we're going to have a lot of confidence in whoever wins it to know that they're worthy of being a test driver for Michael Walter Racing. And we want to be right here with our finger on the pulse of it, watching how it all goes down. The winner of the competition ultimately gets a ride. They become the development driver for Peak uh, and MWR, but we put them in a car with Bill McAnally in a K&N series race uh, with fantastic equipment. Season one winner of the Peak Stock Car Dream Challenge, Patrick Staropoli, not only raced in the K&N West Series, he won. He beat a couple of future Hall of Famers on the West Coast, and he stood right up to them toe to toe and won the race. What I was most proud of last year is it really did produce a good talent, and he's showcasing it all over the United States. The Peak Stock Car Dream Challenge has completely, you know, altered the course of my life. You know, we won, we got a pole, we had all top ten finishes. It's just been an unbelievable ride. We've proven that this program works and we can find folks and we can help these drivers uh, show what they're made of. 